Hello all, our next concept is perimeter. Before going into the mathematical concept, first let us see what this word perimeter means. It has been derived from the Greek word that is perimetros. Now in this, peri means around and metros means to measure. Now what we are going to measure? We are going to measure around. Around what? Around the edge of flat surface or an object. Now for example this circular banger. Now this circular edge is nothing but the perimeter of a circle. Second example is this mirror. In this you can see the black border is nothing but the perimeter and the mirror part is the area. Now what is an area that we will see in the next video. Now see this shape. Now which shape I have drawn? This is a square. Yes. Now the border or you, we can say the edges. This edge or the border is nothing but the perimeter. Next shape is the triangle. Now this sides or the edge is the perimeter of the triangle. Similarly rectangle. So this sides all together is the perimeter of the rectangle. Now the inner part as I have said the inner part is nothing but the area. Same here which I have explained earlier this black line is the perimeter and the mirror part is the area. Now area we will learn in detail in the next video. Now let us see what is a perimeter. Now let us see perimeter of square. Now we all know one property of a square that all sides of a square are equal. Correct? So if I say let one side of the square be A. So according to that all the sides of the square will be A. Now perimeter means what? The edge. Okay, now to get all this edge, what we are going to do? We are going to add up. So, if I write this perimeter of square is equal to, now if I add all this four sides, what we will get? We will get the perimeter. So, A plus A plus A plus A. Okay. Which is equal to. Now A is being added how many times? 4 times. So instead of adding 4 times. We can simply do 4 multiply by A. Now since this is a square. We can write directly perimeter of square as 4 multiply by A. Now let us see one example. Now Let's take an example, side of square that is equal to 3 cm. Means there is a square wherein all sides measures 3 cm. Okay, so what will be the perimeter? Now instead of adding 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 means adding all this side. What we can do? Directly I can write 4 multiply by 3. Now 3 is what? 3 is nothing but the side. So 4 multiply by side. This is the formula of perimeter of square. So 4 multiply by how much is the side? 3 centimeter. So 4 3s are 12 centimeter. This is the perimeter of a square. Next let us see perimeter of rectangle. Now about rectangles we know that opposite sides of a rectangle are same or they are equal. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. 
so if this is length i will write denote it as l and this side breadth i am going to denote it as b okay now to get the perimeter again what is a perimeter edge of a surface or on or an object so perimeter of a rectangle now to get all these edges what i should do i should again add all them up so length plus breadth length plus breadth now how many times i have added the length two times so 2 into length plus how many times i have added the breadth two times so 2 into breadth now can you see the 2 is same in both the terms so i'll take out 2 and what is remaining length plus breadth in the bracket so this is the formula of perimeter of a rectangle now let us see one example of perimeter of rectangle let's say length of the rectangle is 12 cm and breadth of rectangle is 4 cm now we have to find perimeter of a rectangle what was the formula two bracket length plus breadth so two bracket length is how much 12 plus breadth is how much 4 so two as per the board mass first we need to solve bracket and then we will multiply so 12 plus 4 is 16 2 into 16 when there is a bracket without operation means it is multiplication So two multiplied by sixteen is nothing but thirty-two centimeter. Now next is perimeter of a triangle. Now there is no basic rule or formula for perimeter of a triangle because in a triangle all sides can be same, two sides can be same, or no sides can be same. Okay, so we will assume that one side is A. another side is b and the third side is c so basically perimeter of triangle when we add up it's a plus b plus c that's it we just have to add up all three sides that's it so let's see one example now in this triangle you can see that one side measures 4 cm another side measures 3 cm and the third side measures 5 cm so what can be the perimeter perimeter of a triangle as per the formula we have to add up all three sides so 4 plus 3 plus 5 that is 7 plus 5 12 cm now how to find perimeter when there is no like if the shapes are irregular for example this is the shape now as per how we applied rule for uh, rectangle and square where in all sides were equal or the opposite sides were equal we can't use such properties in such figures okay so like this there will be many different figures wherein the shapes will be irregular with no sides equal or the opposite sides won't be equal so how to find the perimeter so first let us see what is perimeter again coming on to the meaning part of it perimeter if we revise or if we go into the flashback we have seen that we added all the sides so it is nothing but sum of all sides that's what we do that's what we did in 
square that's what we did in rectangle and triangle and that's how we formulated formula for perimeter of square and rectangle now if the if the shape are irregular with no sides equal then what we have to do simply we have to add it by adding all of that sum of all sides sum means addition so let's take example 4 meter 4 centimeter this side is 1 centimeter this side measures 3 centimeter this side measures 5 this side measures 2 this side measures 7 let's take this side measures uh, 5 again so now how to do it we will add all the sides and we will get perimeter of the irregular shape so we have to remember this sum of all sides sum means addition addition of all the sides so 4 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 7 and plus 5 so the answer will be 5 plus 3 8 plus 5 13 15 22 and 27 units okay that's how we find perimeter of the irregular closed shapes